Good day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph, and today I am here with Amy. And so we're gonna minister to ten people. Uh, if you don't see your name on the list, and you say, but I would also like to receive a word. Please write your name in the comments and I would love to schedule you and minister to you. Also remember we are live ministering every Monday and Friday. Mondays is 6 o'clock South African time and then Fridays is half past 7. Alright, so uh, the first person I want to minister to is David. So David, I prayed and the Lord gave me the word war of attrition. And I saw how the enemy was coming against you. How, But how the Lord was just giving you endurance, perseverance wisdom and even resources and nothing that the enemy did against you could stand and you overcame because the Lord was your supply. And remember the Lord is like a river so he's just continuously supplying joy and strategy and the resources to you and I just felt that the Lord says do not give up if you continue you will overcome and God is with you. God bless you David. Amen. This next word is for um, Layla. Layla, God loves you very much and while praying for you I just saw a picture of um, how God gave you all these pictures and you painted these beautiful paintings, these prophetic words, these these things that God has called you to do. And then I saw how God is strengthening your right arm and how um, with a hammer and a nail that you like put up these these paintings and I, oh you built this house but I just see specifically with a nail when you hit it God has strengthened your arm so you can get it like in one go and it's precise and I just feel the Lord says that I am strengthening you for what you need to do and um, just like that um, who was the prophet where the Lord said your words will not fall? It's Elijah. Hey. Uh, Samuel. It was Samuel. Um, the Lord said to Samuel, your words will not fall. And I just feel the Lord says with your actions and what you do, it will not fall. I just feel there's such a confidence that God has given you. God has really strengthened you. And I just feel the Lord says now it's time to use that strength. God loves you. God bless you. Hey, uh, Layla, God bless you. Uh, you are a wonderful a child of God. Uh, and there's a lot of authority and a yeah. government anointing upon your life. All right, so um, the next person I want to minister to is Angela Parker. Okay, so Angela, uh, the Lord was giving me this word, chosen for the team. And I felt that it was a very important opportunity of promotion that God is bringing to you. And you are promoted to be part of a team of special people that are going to do amazing things. And I just felt that the Lord says that He has approved you, that you've been faithful and He has chosen you. And then the Lord showed me how you, when you are among people, bring out the fragrance of God's presence and of His power through your life. And because you walk with God, people can feel and sense and even smell that you are that you have been walking with God. God bless you, Angela. Amen. God bless you, Angela. This next one is for Brenda. Brenda, God loves you so much and God is just removing all sickness from your life, from your family's life. God is bringing complete healing to you and God is giving you vision. I just see how God is like giving you like this new eyesight, like this new vision and clarity of how to look at things in His perspective and, and that positive light. Uh, I just feel the Lord says that you are going to, through His eyes, see a lot more solutions um, than the things that are missing or the things that are not making sense right now. I just feel God is giving you um, that clarity. And then I also feel how the Lord is really taking all the areas in your life that is not lukewarm, how the Lord is calling you to be on fire for Him, and how the Lord is really um, re-baptizing you with the Holy Spirit and with fire. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm sending you out and I'm calling you to pray for people and that boldness. God loves you, Brenda. God bless you. Hello, hey, Brenda. God bless you. Hi. Right. So the next person I want to minister to is Sherika. All right, so Sherika, the Lord said, although you are mature and you've walked with me and you've passed the test, the Lord is putting you through new training, is giving you new vision, and is giving you new wisdom for a new season. And I felt that the Lord says that as you go through this training, you're going to experience, or you're going to have new experiences, uh, and you're going to get new strategies from God to go into this next season in your life. And so uh, just uh, be faithful to, to learn and study as the Lord lead and guides you. God bless you, Sherika. Amen. God bless you, Sherika. Next word is for Cindy. Cindy, you are the apple of God's eye. God loves you so much. The picture God showed me for you was how you were dancing and you finally understood the dance, the choreography three choreography and everything and and it was like you're so confident but God said okay you can't dance like that for the forever you gotta like learn the next dance, the next step. And I just saw how the Lord picked you up and he started um 
teaching you these new dances and it was a bit uncomfortable, it was a bit of a stretch for you, but then you flowed and you got it. And the moment you got it was when you relaxed. And I just feel the Lord says, I'm bringing rest for you so you can be more productive. And I, I don't know if you're a writer, but I just feel that there's just such a writer's calling. I don't know if you're writing a book or um, even like poems or songs or just letters that God, or words that God is just saying to you. But I just see how you're writing and it's so anointed. Um, um, during your workspace, during when you're having creative time, um, I just feel God is really anointing the works of your hands and the things that you're going to write is going to really be, um, I just feel there's such an anointing over it. God loves you, Cindy. God bless you. Hello, Cindy, I just want to add to what Amy say. Um, uh, I prayed for you and I saw a, a bookshelf um, with lots of books in there. And so I also felt that the Lord is going to uh, use you to write. All right. uh, God bless you, Cindy. Okay, so the next word is for Nareen. Okay, so Nareen, the Lord said to me, many are the works uh, of my servant Nareen. And I just felt that you are going to do many, many things for God uh, over a long period of time and that the Lord has many rewards for you because of your faithfulness and because of being a doer. And so James said, faith without works is dead. And I just see how you are obedient to God yeah. and how because you're a doer, a lot of what God wants to manifest in your life is continually manifesting in your life. And so the Lord is very pleased of, uh, with you. Uh, and I also felt that the Lord says uh, there's a lot more that you're going to do for him. And so it's like a race, you know, when you run a marathon and you reach that halfway point and then you're going to continue. And I just felt that the Lord says, good and faithful, you've reached the halfway point and you're going to continue for me. God bless you, Nareen. Amen. This next word is for Christina. Christina, the Lord says, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. I just feel God is just pouring out his love to you. Um, and then I feel that God has called you to be a leader. I just feel there's an anointing of leadership in your life and how the Lord is really teaching you how to honor and work with excellence and also have the wisdom of the Holy Spirit of how to lead people into his presence and how to lead your family into his presence and to his love and I just feel there's a lot of practicality that God has given you and how the Lord is really going to teach you how to apply that but also be so obedient to the Holy Spirit. Um, I, I just see how God is is really refilling your faith and giving you hope and it's like you've been very very tired these last few weeks and I just feel how the Lord is, is just placing his hand on your shoulder and just re-energizing you. Um, I really want to encourage you. I don't know if you're a runner or not, but I just saw how you're running. So maybe um, maybe God is calling you to run to help you with more energy. Um, but I, I just feel the Lord says, um, receive energy from me, but also it's important to, to run or, or do something active so, to help you with more energy. But I just feel God is going to help you with that. God loves you. God bless you. Hey, uh, Christina, uh, God bless you. He's anointing us upon you. Yeah. So the Bible says in, what's it, uh, James chapter 5, that you can bring the, uh, you call the elders and they'll pray for you and they'll anoint you. Yeah. Uh, and I just see how the Lord is anointing you today also for healing. Okay, God bless you. Uh, so Jazz, uh, Jazz, um, the enemy wants to bring anxiety to you. The Lord wants you to walk in peace. And so it's a decision that you have to make to trust in God and to just relax a little bit and to say, okay, I don't have to control everything. I just have to trust in God and know that he is working with me and he's going to give me those that baby steps of uh, obedience steps that I have to do to just do that part that I have to do and then he will do his part and the Lord says daughter I will be faithful uh, I will be strong in your life I will cover you and I will give you the breakthrough and so you do not have to fear but you have to be obedient and the Lord is going to help you and he's going to assist you and I just actually see how the Lord gives you more than enough resources so that you can fulfill that wonderful call and plan that God has for your life. God bless you, Jazz. Amen. God bless you, Jazz. This next word is for Jordi. And um, Jordi, God loves you so much. And I see how you, just like David, you were playing like a guitar and worshiping before the Lord. And how um, you are not singing, you are like humming and you are like engaging, but you are like listening to the melodies that he's singing. So I just feel um, you you were in a season of your life with a lot of talking and a lot of worship and, and words, which is great. But I just feel God is really right now placing you into a time where you're really just engaging and connecting with him and how he is, God is speaking words over your life. I just see how you're like listening to him. So I just feel God is taking you to a quiet place of worship right now. But I, I want to encourage you, he is filling 
up your tank because there's a fire that God is igniting and there's something that's going to be so amazing but right now God is just like taking you into his arms into that secret place and giving you rest right now and then I just see how God is also giving you um how you're, you're eating better like better nutrition and how God is filling you up with his word he's filling you up um with, with his with his promises and how you're just praying in tongues and pressing in and I just feel there's a lot of things in your life that you're like removing and you're like um just consuming better like like what well, yeah, the things in your life. I just I just feel God is really nourishing you in this time to give you strength for what you need to do. God loves you so much and I really want to encourage you. There's just an anointing of worship right now in your life. God bless you. Hey, Jordan, God bless you. Uh, so family, um, Amy has for years and years helped me with prophetic ministry. Um, and she also has her own YouTube channel. Her channel <laughs> is not a prophetic channel where she prophesied to people. Uh, so. Amy, maybe you can just tell them what is your YouTube channel's name and what do you do in your YouTube channel? So my YouTube channel is Amy Storm. So it's actually my first and middle name. So yeah, you can go check it out. It's um, it's just worship. That's all it is. I'm a I'm a worship leader, and that's that's my love and 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 really, yeah, go that's, check it out. That's Amy's passion. That's yeah, what. Definitely. Yeah. So. Uh, from a long, long, long time, Amy said to us, she wants to be a worship leader. She has a passion to worship God. And she spends hours every single day of her life just worshiping before God. And so she started uh, recently a YouTube channel. She's got a few subscribers. But I want to encourage you, uh, if you could, I'll, I'll get the link from her. And then I'll put it also in the comments. And you guys can go and check out her worship channel. And write her a comment on one of her videos. Uh, just to encourage her also, um, so it's wonderful that she uh, has creativity in her and just uh, love for God. And so let's encourage her. Uh, uh, friends, uh, it was wonderful for us to minister to you. And uh, if you would like to receive ministry, write your name in the comments. Uh, we're going to be back again uh, tomorrow night uh, doing prophetic ministry. So you can also come to our live. It's on Mondays at 6 and Friday nights half past 7. Uh, we look forward to see you. God bless. Bye. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, please click here.